in this video we are back in Minecraft playing Find the Minecraft Mobs. So there has been an update from my first video. Um, so there has been a new world added of the ether, some new characters dotted around the uh, kind of initial map and a new area to the initial map as well. So I haven't ordered this video in the order that I found them. I have done it by location just to help you navigate where I am. If you do get stuck with any of the updated characters in this video or the previous characters in my first video, please do drop me a comment. I will always try and help you the best that I can. And if I can ask for your help, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe, I can ask you to hit that button and help support my channel. So we're just kind of making our way around the kind of initial map to begin with. And we now have the trading villager. I'm very disappointed that for my first video they haven't included morphs and the noises, but <laughs> making our way into the is it Ether? Ether? Um, and you need 90 mobs to be able to go into this world. And I'm not going to lie, like we've got the basic Minecraft for the kids, so I've never heard of a sheep off. <laughs> All these characters are new, but we need to find a gold ingot item in order to open the cage for whatever that is in there. <laughs> and this new area is kind of built on little islands. We just have to cross the bridges to get to each island. And I still just can't get over how much this resembles Minecraft like. This has got to be one of the most immersive maps I've been in for a very long time. I always kind of say a lot of the games are kind of generic with the characters dotted around. It's so nice to see one with the full texture pack of Minecraft. So we're on the top row of the temple. And you just need to find the big square patch with the vines all over it and the cobble, mossy cobblestone. entrance moving around the temple we have the kind of main entrance covered by vines And similar to the cobblestone wall in the cave, we need to hit that lever and what that does, the floor disappears and then we can go ahead and collect Tempest. And then we have an entrance on the bottom layer, the bottom tier of the temple. We have flying cow. <laughs> oh my god, I do wonder what that world is like with cows flying about the place. <laughs> and we have Zephyr. No clue what those characters are. I said we've got a really outdated version of Minecraft. <laughs> Unfortunately, in the Judgment TV house, Minecraft kind of got obliterated by Roblox when we started fi uh, finding all the games on there and playing on it. We have found the gold ingot for the cage out the front. We 
it's got a mimic. where the tempest was so i can already see to the left of the map we're going to have to drop down there are two bridges to this island you don't have to do what i just did teleport back to the start Steve still hasn't made an appearance yet um, the creeper is now in um, and with us so there's a few characters that's been added I guess they aren't a Steve fan <laughs> I wonder if here and Brian will make an appearance as well to find the game without a maze so they have pictured this one in wool um, I'm so glad that I'm running around a maze again <laughs> I am just deploying the same tactic I always do so I run around the same wall in the same direction just so I know I've covered all the maze invariably this does work I always find the uh, the, the characters I need to um, and I just bump against the wall just to make sure there are no veiled entrances that I need to find. I do really hope that they continue to update this game. I mean, I wouldn't even limit it to mobs. I mean, stick the food in there, the weapons, just please keep updating this. This is a great game. I'm really enjoying playing this one. And what's so nice is that it's a nice break from the really overcomplicated ones with really tough puzzles. There are a couple of code doors and puzzles, but they're nice and easy. Um, this is just a great game to pass the time. I don't know what an air bear is. <laughs> found the code for the downstairs code door as well as ecotrizer <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that let alone know what that is <laughs> that's all right I can pronounce that one Edison and now that we've completed that area we can go back to the start and get this weird dodo looking thing of Irma, Irmo. <laughs> Back in the initial map now and we are in snow. down into the floor of the brick building we can find Jeb so Jeb's in the game and Steve's not <laughs> but we have found a music disc that you need to select you will need this for the new kind of cave area and that is on the new island area of this map
This is the area where the witch lives and we have some new pillars with a new frog on top of them. It makes me laugh because it says cold frog but aren't most frogs cold because they're amphibians. <laughs> In the Mushroom Island, we have a little new obby. You will need the sword to open up the ladder to get up here. I do show this in my first video on this game and there is a video description with some timestamps. And then we have the inclusion of this new island. There are a few ways to get over, you just need to obby across. So you can access it there as well next to Enderman. That would be a really great sneaky place to put kind of a veiled entrance that wasn't very clear through the coal and then to drop down. I'm quite surprised there was only baby wolf up here. Um, there's a real opportunity to kind of obby around these pillars. Um, I don't know if that's going to be something for later on in the future. And I don't know why I keep finding these little pigs around the map. Um, I found about four or five of them. Again, we have a lever. And this uncovers the area for the desert iron golem. I don't know if the pigs are going to be for an update that you have to collect them in order to get a character. I don't know. Um, if you do know what they are, leave me a comment. I'm quite curious. Moving down into the cave, and luckily there are no trip wires in this cave. Although it would be ace if you had like dispensers with arrows in like kind of Indiana Jones style, you run past and like you have to beat the arrows. <laughs> if you're gonna booby trap one, you might as well booby trap all the caves. And we find a shulker box. I'm not going mad running up against the wall. I remember from the last cave about the skeleton. The wither is behind the cage, so I didn't have the music disc at the time, but if you have the music disc and go into the cave, you'll be able to go in and get the wither. I had to go back. the creeper although that one doesn't really look realistic to minecraft it looks a bit weird to be fair but i'll take it the creeper is now in <laughs> so you do need to climb up the second truss and we have found wisp I 
always have to try the hard way before I find the easy way of getting somewhere. <laughs> And then just finishing off this update, there is one that has been added to the end. So you can either use the teleport menu or you can jump through the portal at spawn. So there were two that I couldn't collect for VIP and group, but annoyingly they've added another couple now to uh, the VIP. So Fancy Chicken, you get the flying carpet in VIP, and Black Sheep, you need the flying carpet to get to the island. So that's pretty frustrating, but there we have it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you real soon. Bye!